evening. Welcome, welcome, I say. You're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's top broadcast platform. Lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome to the big one, the Scotty McClue Show, going out live on Facebook Live. That's the one everyone's talking about. That's the one everyone is watching. Spread the word, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, that you're watching Scotty McClue, and that we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. So much to talk about tonight and so little time to do it in. And Dave Gardner's watching, James Cottles, Andy Grant, excellent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say we have a lot to get through tonight, guys, and the time is already very, very tight. The clock is ticking, I say. <coughs> For those of you who've uh, never heard of me, if you're an alien life form from another planet, I am Scotty McClue. Capital S, small c, or double t-i-e, that's the Scotty, the McClue, capital M, small c, capital C, l-u-e, that is the McClue. And we all get together every Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp, British summer time. Good evening, Dinky Doos is Dave Gardner, good evening, Scotty, this is David Fraser, and Black High Scotty, evening Scotty, says Michael Paul McVeigh, hello, says Christopher John Mapp, Christopher John Mapp, thank you for all your beautiful, beautiful graphic work there, superb, hi again from California, I'll be letting people know about your show, says Andrea Elizabeth Lucy McLaughlin, Andrea Elizabeth Lucy McLaughlin, thank you, thank you, thank you, I'd say, been waiting all day, says Stephen Short, Shelley McRobbie, Lovely, lovely, lovely to see you. Welcome. Evening, says Sean Lynch. Good evening to you, Sean. Lots to discuss tonight, guys. Uh, we're looking at, should we have a shoot-to-kill policy for terrorists? So there you are. We're talking about that tonight. Hello, Scotty from Parkhead, from the Parkhead, Andrew Mackay, and Tisha McClear, Dinky Doo. Evening, Sir Sean. Evening, Sean. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, guys. It's me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live, the world's great broadcast platform. Sing Dinky Doo just for you. So Divine's watching, Robert Devlin, Dinky Doo big man. Hello to you, Robert. Hello, hello, Scotty. The loudspeaker with the pulse is back. Absolutely, Scott Dempsey. And uh, who's that behind you, Scotty? Oh, behind you. Oh, no, he's not. Uh, that's just me. Don't worry about that. Jim Clark says, good evening, Scotty. Yeah, Scotty, says Trisha back to you. And do we kisses, do we kisses back to you, Trisha. So much to talk about. Now, guys, get sharing as soon as you can. No, not shoot to kill, just severely injuring to get the answers we need. Very, very interesting thinking, guys. I see what you mean. Get them and get them to talk. Evening, Mr. McClue, says Neil Mills Jr., Angie Thompson. Yes, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says David Gardner. Excellent stuff. So I've got that. Also, would you like to choose who you want to be? You will see that as the title of tonight's show. Choose who you want to be. This is show number 48, guys, our 48th show. I think we've actually probably done uh, maybe 50, but um, officially 48, and you can still see number one on Facebook when I first clicked hello to all of you. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10, says David. Hello, says Dennis Kelly. Hello, Scotty. Stevie Flynn. Dinky Doo. Uh, who's winning on the 23rd, says Scott Dempsey. Ah, now there we are. The legend that is Scotty McClue, says Massa N. Tuffer. And Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue, says Dino the Doug. Now, guys, just before we go on, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have been so wonderfully generous and uh, popped something into GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Two pounds, five pounds, ten pounds. Mwah bless you all it all goes to be a very very good use it might not seem a lot of money to you but i can do marvelous things with it so there you are um good evening uh, dinky do scotty good evening says blair j gillespie sandy howden scotty i can only get on here when my mate alfie sends me a link anything up nothing up sandy all is well in the world do not worry your wee head about a thing live for it tonight i say uh, the whole shoot to kill things, unfortunately, a red herring. With the greatest of respect, Scott.
Users are trained in stop shots, which are aiming at places like the here. Uh, I'm not going to click see more because I can lose the broadcast. If I could choose who I would be, I'd be Dan Aykroyd. He's my hero. No, no, what I'm talking about was citizenship, Angie. We're just so busy on here. I haven't had a chance to explain myself. Uh, so what we're looking at is citizenship here. So you could be Scottish and be European. You could be Scottish and American, English and African, English and European. You decide. Uh, I'll donate next week on Monday, says Christopher James Mapp. Christopher Yay! James Mapp, just if it suits, I say. So there we are. Um, that's uh, LBC coming on to say that they're live. Scotty McClure's live, so we'll just have to tell them that. Uh, good morning from Australia. It's good to have a very wise man to start the day, says Erica Moyer in Australia. Hello, Erica. Hope you're well. So there you go. Fantastic. Uh, shoot to kill straight away, buddy. No thinking about it. They're out to kill anyone in sight, says Robert Devlin. So bang, bang, bang with the terrorists. Police officers are trained in stop shots, which are actually aimed at places like the heart and the head. So there you are. But yeah, but if you get somebody in the heart of the head, with all due respect to you, John O'Rourke, I think you might find it's good night, Vienna. So there we are. Scotty, do you think if the bookies think Jacob Rees-Mogg becomes leader of the Tories, it will put an end to the DUP alliance with him being a Roman Catholic? Well, I don't think people bring their personal faith in, although I have to say when he was making the comments about abortion, termination of pregnancy, um, I thought he was really adhering to his faith. So there we are. But uh, I don't know that people bring their personal faith into things. If I was a devout Roman Catholic and somebody asked me to make a decision about should we let the orangeman walk or something like that, I wouldn't see it as my place to say, well, I don't want them walking because I am a devout Roman Catholic. Uh, but having said that, let's look at the big picture. So we need people to look at the big picture. I had to dump a few people today who were actually yes people for Scotland. They were for independence and uh, they were just losing the plot, using foul language, that sort of thing. No, 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 no. Off you go. Uh, all Scottish on all the Wayne's school forms. Uh, sorry, I'm Scottish on all the Wayne's school forms. So is he. That's my point. It's a red herring, says John Rook. I understand now, John, exactly where you're coming from. The big man has clocked it. The penny has dropped. They already do shoot to kill. I'm with you now, John. Stop tactics. Well, my goodness, death is a great way to stop somebody. Uh, I'm Scots. I'll always be a Scot. I'm proud to say I've never had a passport, says Neil James Mills uh, Jr. Neil Mills Jr., I beg your pardon. You should be a giraffe, Scotty. You've got some neck on you. Ha <laughs> ha! Very, very funny, Rab. Very good. Uh, John Rook says three, so there we are. Uh, what do you think about the latest bombing in the train station over the week? Uh, young men have been caught. Two young men have been caught so far, says Erica Meyer. Yes, I mean, I'm impressed with the way the police move so swiftly on all these things, I have to say. Confucius say, once you lose the plot, you've lost the argument. Barry Wayne, you're absolutely 100% correct. And I'll tell you what I've noticed. People use certain words, and uh, when they use these words, you know the argument is lost. Very, very interesting, and it's actually a syndrome. Do you know the dog? There we are. You've just gone ka -ching. Why do the SNP not have marches outside Glasgow, Scotty? They attacked people with Union Jacks on Saturday. Well, Sandy Howden, I had a look at that, and I wonder if there was a little bit of a setup going on there. Uh, you know, because I can't imagine any SNP people attacking anybody just for having a Union flag, because uh, the flag of Scotland is within the Union flag. So there we go. Mind you, I got some pretty cheeky answers when I suggested, uh, you know, that as a yes or as an independence, an advocate of independence for Scotland, and also very much a pro-royalist, there was one or two cheeky people, and they weren't getting the big picture that you're never going to have independence if you don't keep your royal family. Um, that's my ears clean. That was that loud ping what it was, says Andrew. Sandy, no one attacked 
the idiots. So the answer says Ian Walker. I don't quite know what you mean by that, Ian. You'll have to qualify it. Uh, who's that in the picture behind you? That, we always get asked this. It's very interesting. That's me. C'est moi. There I am. That's me there, guys. Okay. And that's me there as well. Yes. And there's Lord Reith the Labrador. So that's you up to date. So now you know what goes on at McClure Towers, I say. That was Jack Patterson asking. Joe McGarren is watching. Joe McGarren, dinky do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Now, guys, eh, we'll need to do a lot of sharing as the night goes on. Would you like to have dual citizenship? Dual citizenship. So there we are. Sound a bit James Bond there. Citizenship. Um, yes, eh, there's a share point coming up in a couple of minutes, so make sure that you do that. Um, what we've watched out, Robert Cunningham says, hi, hi, Scotty. Hi, Robert. Lovely to have you with us. It's Scotty the youth, says Angie. Absolutely. That's me last week. Now, the thing is that uh, we've actually worked out that if everybody shares and shares and shares, the audience could approach 2 billion. There you go. You didn't think it. You've got to believe the big picture, guys. 2 billion. Right, so if we get two billion of an audience, when we're doing a share point, I'll ask everybody to contribute a quid to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen McClue or PayPal, which you can get on www.scotty hyphen McClue.com. Why is it after a terrorist attack you see armed police everywhere? It's too late. I know what you mean. I remember going into the city center after the Manchester attack and it was crawling with police and police cars. And I thought, well, uh, you know, I'm not sure what the point in this is. But I suppose it's just to reassure the public to say the polis are about. Um, so there we go. Gary Jimmis is watching. Did you do? Hi, Scotty. Giuseppe here. Lovely, lovely, Giuseppe. Great, Scotty. A lot of the SNP big shots do not like our Queen, says Sandy Howden. Well, they should do, because uh, the Queen is responsible for the whole lot. She is the sovereign lady in Scotland. She is sovereign. The people are sovereign as well, but she is our sovereign lady. She also is responsible for the Scottish Parliament, and she also gives the First Minister her warrants. You'd have to be First Minister. You'd have to get your warrants from Her Majesty the Queen. And in days of weak politics, like we've got flying about just now, it's very nice to know it's uh, very reassuring to know that we have our head of state as a constant. Uh, a Roman Catholic can never be king or queen. That divides half of the populace, Zine Walker. Well, no, that's just at the moment the law of secession, because they sent for, in 1688, the Glorious Revolution, they sent for William and Mary, and that put a stop to uh, Catholicism. But what you've got, you've got the Church of England now. And the Church of England, um, when they have um, high church service, it's effectively mass. It's as close to mass as you will get. So there you are. So Church of England, High Anglican service is effectively a mass. Right, there you are. You heard it here first. McClure knows his stuff. Uh, two billion, you need to broadcast to China. There's not enough of us this side of the South China Sea. Barry Wayne, do your homework. Facebook goes out to 1.8 billion. So uh, there we go. So all we're going to do, Scotty McClure is bound to shove the figures up a bit. He always does. So there you are. Uh, if you share Scottish page, your pals know you're listening and won't bug you, says John O'Rourke. That's true. Everybody knows they're watching Scotty McClure. Radios and tellies go off on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp because that is McClure time. Big style. So there we are. George Raffin. Saturn, he says. Excellent stuff, George. We don't know what you mean. A, a quarter mass. A quarter mass. Lol, says Ian Walker. Very good, Ian. But there you are. I know you're probably a very religious man, so you'll, you'll understand what McClure's on about when I tell you all this. Right, guys. Share time right on the nose. We're on the money for share time. Can everybody share, 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 share this program right now across their Facebook and type, 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 and tell people that you're watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live. Dinky-doo, just for you. Tell 10 to 
tell tongue. I tongued talk radio off for you tonight, says Christopher James Mapp. Christopher James Mapp, I'm very grateful to you. There we are. I assure you of my very best service on here on Scotty McClue's channel, Facebook Live, Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. When are you back in the wireless, Scotty, says Neil Mills Jr.? Well, we're going to be talking to some people this week, so there's a lot of the big wigs, the big wigs, the suits, and we'll get round the table and see what is what. Having said that, Scotty McClure is actually bigger now than on the wireless or television, believe it or not. There you are. Soz, i got news about a crash on the M5, says Angie Thompson. Not all, Angie. Very, very important. Way ahead of you, Scotty. I'm taking names of those who haven't shared for a right good sharing. You need a good sharing of Scotty McClure. That's why we get together. There's no point in having McClure live if everybody's not going to be there or if people don't know about it. I had a guy complaining this morning. He said, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Are we going to get this all day telling us McClure's on? Yes, 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 yes. You certainly are. Uh, so there we are. Share, Scotty, says Robert Cunningham, good man. Scotty McClure, how do you do, says Pete Gallagher. Pete Gallagher, I uh, love your posts. Excellent to have you with us. I am religiously against religion, Scotty. It's all a sham, says Ian Walker. Aha, how do you know that? So there you are. He that believeth in me, saith the Lord, shall not die, but shall have eternal life. Aha, uh -huh. that's me, shared Scotty, says Andrew Mackay. So there we are. And um, I'm not saying ichi or ochi. I'm just explaining to you how do you know. Some people uh, can say there's no evidence there's life after death. Others can say, but there's no evidence there's not. Uh, excuse me, Mr. McClure, can you give us a wee Bee Gees number, Mr. Strapville? Of course I can. Excellent stuff. Stay in a lot. But no, I can't actually because uh, I don't want to fall foul of copyright so i can't do you more than a second or two there we are and uh, christopher james Rapp, thank you very much um are you a religious man scotty says vj vj um what i would say is i wouldn't like to think that uh, mrs may or mrs merkel or mr putin or um the chiesoch or um uh, you know, or even Miss Sturgeon, or uh, any of these people. I wouldn't like to think they were the ultimate power in the world, or, or Mr. Trump, Donald Trump. Uh, you know, I wouldn't like to think they were the ultimate power in the world. So I would like to see that there's um, a power superior to mankind. There we are. I don't know if that answers your question. I study a lot of religion so that I have the knowledge. Knowledge is power, of course. Uh, just shared, Scotty, says Erica Meyer. Thanks, Erica. Erica's in Australia, and she's just shared. Um, last week, I noticed a lot of you from all over the world telling me, and I'd missed some people out, so please do let me know. I don't buy into organized religion as such, but I do believe in a higher power or a creator, says Pete Gallagher. Absolutely. God could be good orderly discipline, you see. Uh, what shoe size are you, says Aaron G. Max, seven and a half. Uh, are in tiny, tiny feet. Very, very neat. Great dancing. Uh, Scotty, did you know uh, they are opening a women's prison in Mary Hill? So there you are. Be easier for me to visit the wives. You know. <laughs> very, very funny here. I like all these wee jokes as well. But I did say, is it the old health centre they're going to do up uh, as an extra slammer? Uh, was Scott FM named after you, Scotty? Says Gone Drysdale. No, Scott FM started about now in the September. Uh, that would be, yes, September 94, Scott FM started. And then I called them um, to ask if they were looking for any speech people because they were, I think at that time, 50% music, 50% speech. And um, the manager said at the time, he said, no, we've got everybody, thank you. And then I think maybe somebody said, uh, that was Scotty McClue, and the programmer said, well, you know, uh, we'll give it a whirl. And uh, what a sensible thing that was. Good evening from Halifax, said David Millian. Aye, Halifax, love, excellent stuff. If the world was ruled by postmenopausal women, there would be no wars. Right? A hell of a lot of arguing, <laughs> says John O'Rourke. Very, very good job. Uh, Dinky do. my question, Scotty, is a woman reversing driving, or is it just me um, th that can he do it? Sorry, is 
there's women reversing, driving. Is it just me or who I can't do? I don't quite get that, Scott BD. But anyway, uh, the thing is, no, women are coordinated differently. So their driving tends not to be as good as men in general. And they're maneuvering, they're uh, reversing, they're turning and that. I mean, I watched an elderly lady right enough, but that shouldn't mean any difference. Her and her pal going to the shops and she just hit the pillar in the car park absolutely smack in the middle of the bumper. Then she stopped and she had a conversation with her pal, which was obviously, did I just hit something? And our pal then got out and went round the front and nodded, went, and then she went, and they went in, reversed, reparked, and went away shopping. Good evening, first lord of the internet. Fantastic, lovely, lovely. Scott FM were great days. The single women, the people on the dole. You love chatting about them. We did indeed. Now, we are so busy tonight that this has actually frozen. I hope you can still hear me. Let me know if you can still hear me. Um, is there a God, Scotty? Says George Raffin. Well, George, yes. I mean, there's certainly a power superior to mankind, and you could have good orderly discipline. Majority of Scotland not religious. Tonight's census previously 50%. Not religious, 1994, now 75%. I think, John, you'll find this is a picture worldwide. We're moving into a more secular age. There's less Christianity, but more of other religions, of course. You'll see a, a big increase in a lot of other religions. So I wouldn't say entirely not religious, just perhaps uh, less Christianity. Um, probably not.